Nobody I saw up on that border today was armed. When I hear the term unarmed protesters, this is what I have in mind. Not this. Why are these people who chose to riot and violently approach the Israeli fence called unarmed protesters? How are they any different than the Hamas terrorists? The Hamas was democratically elected by the citizens of Gaza. Do you get what this means? The Gazan people voted for a party which instead of investing in promoting education, health, growing economy, invest most of their time, money, and energy in destroying Israel. I think it'd be safe to say that the majority of Gaza citizens would be interested in seeing Israel gone. No, no Israel, but Palestine. But forget about all that. Let's talk about these. The ones who responded to Hamas's call to come and violently breach the Israeli border so that the Hamas's soldiers can enter the state of Israel and slaughter real innocent citizens in their homes. In their homes. Israel, for the sake of its citizens' safety, was crystal clear. No one gets near the border. Even if he seems unarmed. This rule, by the way, is true worldwide, not only in Gaza. All these facts, though, somehow seem to disappear from media coverage, as well as politicians around the world. And Israel is accused of using excessive force when shooting at unarmed protesters, charging at the Israeli border. If someone swore to murder your family, or to rip your heart out. Would you treat him as innocent? We're sorry about the current situation, but we are done apologizing.